The combi ped brace can be used with deformed, painfully ingrown and rolled nails. It offers the ability to use a wire brace even if only one side of the nail edge is accessible and even for very small, narrow nails. The start set contains all the products and instruments that are required to use the combi ped brace. Braces in three different strengths, the alcohol swabs, the adhesive, the combi bending pliers, combined gripping pliers, and the side cutter. The combi ped brace produces a constant light bending force due to the return force of the spring wire on the nail. It can even correct highly deformed nails. The force that is applied to the specific nail can be optimally adjusted by selecting the correct wire strength and by lightly curving the wire. Depending on the use, the brace can be used on both sides of the nail or only on one side. If use on both sides is desired, the brace should be as long as possible and should cover the entire nail width. Two combi ped braces can also be placed one right after the other. For single-sided use, the brace is shorter and the adhesive pad is adhered in the middle of the nail. The effect is then concentrated on the wire side. If there is acute pain, place the combi ped brace approximately two millimeters behind the place where the pain is. Before treatment, the entire area that is to be treated must be thoroughly disinfected. To do this, use either skin disinfecting spray or the appropriate skin disinfecting cloths. Make sure that the nail has not been softened because that can affect the adhesive power. Clean the nail crease before the combi ped brace is attached and ensure that the requirements for attaching the small hook under the nail edge exist. The nail must have the smoothest and flattest surface possible for attaching the brace. If necessary, use a milling device or nail file to smooth down or lightly ground the surface. Loose pieces of nail are removed. Select the brace strength depending on the nail and force required. Note that if a brace is used that is too strong, the danger exists that the nail will come off. For this reason, the tension should not be too strong. Thus, choose the soft strength brace. Tighten the brace with the combi ped gripping pliers on both pins, whereby there must be a distance between the pad and the pliers so that the brace is flexible. Disinfect the wire of the combi ped brace before bending the small hook and also before each use by wiping it with the alcohol swab. Use the nail width to determine the length of the brace. To bend the small hook that is later hooked under the nail edge, first turn the wire around the round side of the combi bending pliers until a roughly U-formed small hook is created. Choose the desired hook size from the four holes, from coarse to very fine. Then position the small hook in the desired hole of the hook plier and press the pliers firmly. The small hook must not protrude from the pliers but rather must be completely in the hole. Then turn the pliers back a bit so that there is no sharp break in the small hook. The small hook must now just be cut off short. The small hook must be bent round enough because an open hook when attaching the brace under the nail can lead to injuries. Trim the wire end with a nail file. Clean it and disinfect it with the alcohol swab. To test the tension of the combi ped brace, you must insert it under the nail edge. Insert the small hook from above, parallel and into the nail crease. Press down and turn the small hook under the nail edge. Then press the pad with the gripping pliers onto the nail. Apply pressure very lightly with the pliers so that the small hook does not pop out. Determine the right tension by speaking with the patient. The patient should not feel any unpleasant tension. Only if the tension is too high for the patient, bend the brace with your fingers or with the 3TO combi bending pliers corresponding to the nail form. 
The nail is thoroughly cleaned with the alcohol swab before the brace is attached. Then let it dry for approximately 30 seconds. The pad of the brace is also cleaned with the alcohol swab and must then dry. The adhesive is now applied. Wipe the brush from both sides on the bottle edge and moisten the entire underside of the pad with adhesive, applying a thin layer. Note that if too much adhesive is used, the brace will not hold to the nail. Hook in the brace under the nail edge. Press the pad with the combi-ped gripping pliers onto the nail. Apply pressure very lightly with the pliers so that the small hook does not pop out. Press with one finger for approximately one minute lightly on the combi gripping pliers. When pressing the pad on, make sure that the pliers are held in the right position. If they are positioned at too high an upward angle, the adhesive surface will not be on the nail and the brace cannot attach. Remove the combi ped gripping pliers. Then individually cut the holding pieces from the adhesive pad using the side cutter as flush with the surface as possible. Then smooth down the holding pad with a sandpaper file. If there are sharp adhesive edges, or for young or very active patients, you can cover the combi-ped brace with gel. Depending on the requirement, nail edges are removed and the nail crease is then plugged or treated as one would treat a wound. To remove the combi ped brace, detach it from the nail with the side cutter. Remove the remains of the adhesive and smooth down the nail. If the desired treatment result has not been attained, a new brace must be prepared.